Do you believe in aliens, Bunley? I don't, and anyone who does is a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> You know, do you know something I found out? That you know, when you buy ham in a supermarket, in a packet, there's cameras in there. <laughs> you, you, look in the, you look at the hang, oh, what's the sell by date on that? There's somebody watching you mm. in like a government office somewhere. <laughs> they're all just shocked. We're, we're, they're all going, going they're nice. all going, why isn't this on the news? Because <laughs> they won't let it out there. So <laughs> that's, what, that's the sign of games they're playing with us. <laughs> Once you know that, the aliens thing doesn't seem so weird then. No. <laughs> We've got a, apparently we've got a sound problem. Hang on one sec. What's the sound problem? We got well, obviously that's, they're trying to shut us down, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not fucking taking me! <laughs> <laughs> Whose mic is it? It's, it's, it's Sean's mic. You just saw it, innit? Yeah. <laughs> 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 if this isn't proof of what I've been saying... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 28% of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. True or false? I've been to Area 51. Right. What do you mean you've been to Area 51? I was arrested by the American Air Force at Area 51 a couple of months back. What were you, what were you doing at Area 51? I was making a programme about aliens for BBC Three. What happened was we went there and I was with uh, a busload of people who are ufologists, people who believe in aliens. I personally don't. I believe in UFOs, but that's, that's not hard to do. That's an unidentified flying object. Mm. This is all it takes to believe in one of them. There's something in the sky. I don't know what that is. <laughs> No yeah. need to start a website. If I take, if I take, my, <laughs> if I take my glasses off, a magpie's an unidentified flying object. <laughs> <laughs> I've had aliens in my, in my house, in my bedroom. <laughs> they were coming, they were visiting us our, our, our so regularly, I had to get a restraining order. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> You've had real problems with this. Oh, it's terrible. It's been a nightmare, Jimmy. But they won't let this won't go out. No, this will go out. <laughs> you guys are all in league with them. <laughs> well, fuck you! <laughs> I'm speaking the truth! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all right, me now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so what, what are you going to say? 28% of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. True or false? True. Oh. What do you think? I'm well out of my dick. I think it's, I think it's <laughs> likely to be true. We think it's true. OK, you think true? What are you going to go for, Sean? It doesn't matter what we say, it'll be covered up. <laughs> <laughs> they'll change my words to say what they want me to say. <laughs> Melanie, you're the only person that seems to be yeah. sane on your team. Put what you want in there. Put yeah. what you want in there. Don't say that. <laughs> sure. Put your lies in there. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things about Strick is they do the Paso Doble, the Cha Cha Cha, Foxtrot, but they don't do things that dancers that people normally do, like just pub dancing. <laughs> <laughs> right. And now <laughs> it's Lewis and Tatiana dancing to Chumba Wumba. I said to them one week you should do it where the celebrities teach the pros a dance and we do the routine that way because then you get you come up with some interesting routines I think yeah some pretty crap ones I've just thought exactly. <laughs> I haven't watched it this series I always watch it I, but my main thing with Strictly is the theme tune I use it generally to get me through difficult moments in life <laughs> <laughs> well, what I think, think it should be a remedy for people with bipolar disorder I think People who say, like, my life's falling apart, the therapist should just go... Get it stuck in the head. Oh. Just keeps you going all day long. <laughs> if my wife says, go and put the bins out, I think, oh, shit, then I just go... <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what, what do you think? Do you think British people judge others on their accent? Oh, well, I mean, I judge people long before they've opened their mouths. So... <laughs> <laughs> Saves a lot of time, doesn't straight it? Straight in there. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's interesting because, yeah, everyone, you know, there's, there's a bit, there's a sort of, what's the word, a contingency in your voice and it moves around and it can, you can change certain things. But the only really way you know how someone speaks is when they sneeze. And that's their true, the true voice. You can't put on a sneeze. I was walking down the street and I lived in East London 
And um, there was this old Cockney walking along in front of me, like, this is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> and then he point? was building up to a sneeze, and he actually went... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 that's, that's a Cockney sneeze. You couldn't put that up. No, you couldn't. That's a natural, that's a natural noise. My wife does a terrible thing. She doesn't give you any warning. She's, no, she just goes, chew! <laughs> no, uh, uh, nothing, no warning. Just sitting there, chew! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> that means shot. <laughs> I was in America recently, and it's incredible. They just... They, and they know nothing about us. They, they really... They're not interested in us anyway. And, and, and we, I was chatting to these guys in a bar, and they were hunters, and they had guns, but they weren't... They weren't stupid. You were chatting to them a bit. Then one of them said to me, what sort of animals you got? <laughs> and I just... And I went blank, actually. I forgot. I went, uh, we got, uh, foxes, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> pigeons. <laughs> and he, this guy said to me, he went, you got lions? <laughs> he was being serious. He was being generally serious. You got lions there? Because <laughs> he had a gun, I couldn't laugh in his face. <laughs> so I went, yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the We've thing... got a couple of dinosaurs, actually. We've still got dinosaurs. <laughs> I've only ever done one tweet. Did one tweet. And it, I've got 36,000 followers. <laughs> which, if you worked it out on a follower per tweet ratio, <laughs> I'm the most successful person ever on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what did you tweet? I tweeted, due to a series of imposters, I have been forced to set up a Twitter account. Now go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if you were going to Twitter. Really, there's times I think about you in the week, and I just think, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what you do. I just, there's times I think, what do I do? I'd love to know Not what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I sit in a tree and spit at pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think I do, John? I literally, that's one of the things, I just have no idea. I just, I can't imagine you eating food. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I can't like imagine Dracula. you going for a run or watching TV. I just imagine you in a dark room, sort of softly lit, just your face, staring at yourself in a mirror. <laughs> Growling. I, I do stare at stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get this amazing sleep app on your phone. It turns itself on instantly when, you, when it hears anything during the night, and then you wake up in the morning, it's got, oh, six recordings, and you can play them back. Oh, I feel like paranormal activity. It's oh. brilliant. <laughs> like, you can upload it to the app. Like, the top ten are actually women farting while they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got more holes, haven't they? What's <laughs> <laughs> that? Well, I'm just saying that from a scientific perspective, <laughs> that's an explanation. It's the same reason they don't like spiders. Why? It's the same movie, because you've got more places for the spiders to hide. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got one. And if a spider wants to go up there, bloody good luck to him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have people over to stay? Oh, I love it. Guests, my house is just open house. It's just... <laughs> I have constantly have at least four pianists staying in my house just to keep the... <laughs> it's like New Orleans. It's great. <laughs> it's just I'm just cooking and people... Yeah, I do. I like, I like having people around. The trouble is, it's persuading them to stay. <laughs> you're a lot shorter than I remember, Sean. Yeah, what's going on? Why are you sitting like that? Yeah, you're a lot... Where are his hands? Where are his hands? <laughs> I'm not... I haven't... What are you talking about? I'm shorter. You're ridiculous. shorter than I remember I you being. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if you're not happy <laughs> with the height that I've presented to you tonight. I'm sorry. I didn't remember being booked on eight out of ten tallest people. <laughs> I was put on this show for that reason. I was put on this show for some of the opinions I've got on some very, very serious issues. Now, let's you know, get like on to the questions. <laughs> it's really freaking me out, man. <laughs> Sean, what do people prefer to receive, homemade presents or bought ones? <sighs> bought ones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's a body. <laughs> so at least a head. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> Santa got you that. You can't just fling it back in his face. Well, go 
one. Wrong tog. <laughs> me, you haven't got one of those. Oh, it's a sleeping bag. It's not. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's technically a sleeping bag, but it's got legs. Oh, hello. <laughs> we got it for you. Oh, I see. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> you like camping? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like camping. I don't like scaring other campers. <laughs> You're my favourite, Sean. Thanks. <laughs> They've got a little nozzle so we can fill it with helium and just carry it around. <laughs> like a little... an angry balloon. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an alcoholic who thinks he's a Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks... It looks... it looks a little bit like a safe sex campaign. <laughs> it looks like my immersion heaters come to life. <laughs> Something really quite bad could happen to me wearing this suit. How's it looking from the orange? Pretty, pretty okay. Are you enjoying the show there? <laughs> oh, the, 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 yeah. Sorry, did you just say? Did you just say that's <laughs> a pretty <laughs> hot candy? Are you enjoying the show? Oh, that is, yeah. <laughs> it's good look. Mr. Yeah. blobby has been on a diet, hasn't he? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sean. There oh, you go. Cheers. Thanks, Andrew.